Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna have Jake and Lana go out on a date today. Hopefully they have some fun. So Jake is gonna come on home right now. I had him take the day off work so we could do a couple things. Uh, but I have been a very, very busy simmer and I've gotten so many elixirs. I've purchased some from the alchemy store and I've also made some. So there's like tons and tons in here now. And I'm keeping these on here. I know it looks terrible, but they are gems that I need for certain elixirs and I didn't wanna lose them cause I'm pretty bad. Like keeping track of stuff. So, uh, yeah, he has a glow orb because you can catch a fairy damsel fish with the glow orb. And I'm going to have him do that later on in this episode, probably. Because I have some plans for Cal. By the way, Cal now has a child. While I was selling and cutting all those gems and stuff, Oakley Bean gave birth to a beautiful little girl named Nikia Bean. And she is a vampire. But I have a an idea to um, make him have a fairy baby, like for real, like it's really going to happen. Also, you guys want me to have Gabby adopt a child, and I might do that in this episode too. Um, I thought about having somebody try to have a baby with her, but then I was like, you know what, that wouldn't be fair to Bianca, so uh, I should probably adopt. <laughs> also, Vincent needs to have his friggin' birthday. Like, when the hell did he last have a birthday? <laughs> I have no idea. What the heck do you think you're doing? I don't think- oh, you're gonna rummage through it. No, that's okay. So, Lana, get out of your little fairy house, and why don't you ask Jake out on a date? Look at him scratching his back. How adorable. So, we're going to ask him out on a date, and I'm going to start my alarm, because, of course, I totally forgot to start it. Put it on. There we go. Alright. <laughs> so, yeah. You gonna go out with me? Oh, look, he has hair going through his ear. How weird. Oh, stop moving. Gosh dang it. Oh, he does want to go out on a date with her. So I think what I want to do is just go out on a traditional, I guess you could say, date. And which is dinner and a movie. So let's have them go out to eat here with their date. And then maybe a movie will be playing later. I'm not sure. Movie theater. Oh, the next show is tomorrow at 12 p.m. Oh, you was... Ugh, lame. So, you know what? Let's just have them come on over here. Uh, can we visit this place? How do we visit this place? Because <laughs> if I just tell them to go here, then that would be really weird. Oh, I guess we can't go here. All right, so I'm just going to go here with date once they're done. I thought this would be like a community lot. You know how you can click on the little icon and it says like... Go here, visit a lot. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I thought it would do, but I guess you can't do that. So anyway, they're going to go out and have some fun, hopefully. I'm going to have Gabby head on over to the alchemy store and purchase some elixirs. Or you know what, I should probably... I'm going to pause this really quick. And, oh, no, look, new guy. Brooks Phelps. Interesting. We're going to buy from them. And before I unpause it, I'm going to have Cal go ho over here too so he can drink from them. Because um, I actually have to fulfill his wish before I do my little plan that I'm not going to tell you guys about yet. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a pretty weird surprise, but it will work. So we have a ton of elixirs, a crazy amount of elixirs. I'm going to take some of the ones that we don't really need. Oh no, I'm in the wrong person's inventory. And I'm going to sell them. Ooh, the foreboding moon begins its mystical ascent into the night sky. How scary. <laughs> so she's going to head on over there, and there was a zombie at our door waiting for us. And Cal, it looks like Cal's already over there. So I am going to have him introduce himself to these people that he hasn't met before. And he is going to drink from them, and maybe we can hopefully fulfill his lifetime wish in this episode. That'd be amazing. I know we could fulfill Gabby's. It's very easy. She only needs to throw four more freaking elixirs, so that's not too bad or she can drink them take them herself and cal you will drink from this man this young man brooks phelps are you going to no what's going on ah gosh dang you gotta drink from him after all right so let's see if, how many oh let's buy some i wonder if we can sell the ones that we buy that'd be interesting oh wow i am going to purchase that just <laughs> just going to and let's purchase these first and then i will consign some items uh not you gabby i'm getting so confused right now gabby will consign all of her elixirs except for the ones that she just bought because that would be a total waste and i would be so upset so jar of friendship all of these ones all of these this invigorating elixir um cure elixir i made a lot of them so i'm not too bummed if i get rid of all of them 
And I made a lot of extras for everything. Like, we had, I think, eight freaking Flask of Bees. <laughs> it's crazy. Origin Tragic Clown. Okay, no, I want to keep these. Not the Wish Enhancing Serum. Alright. So we have consigned items. Hopefully, she will get, you know, promoted. Maybe a couple times since we do get a lot of freaking money from this. So let's drink from this guy, finally. And see, hopefully this works, and then we'll introduce ourselves to Vicky Diaz. And also, who are you, Roman, with your schnazzy attire? And then, I don't know, Joni? What is your name? <laughs> Joanna? Joni McDuff. I don't know if we drank from her before. But it's so easy to drink from these people because we're automatically friends with them when we meet them. Like, it's insane how this happens. So once we're done with them, we will drink from all of them. And let's see, where are we at? 14? Okay. So we will drink from this guy. I'm just pausing it just so nobody leaves or anything like that. So let's go drink from her. I'm not sure if this is successful. Okay, success. Success. Oh, who are you? I don't know who you are. I'm going to fast forward through all this. This is going to take a while. And then he's going to drink from her. And then, I don't know if he's going to gain weight. Can you gain weight from the whole plasma thing? Because it says that he is stuffed, but... Don't really know. So let's drink from her. Holy crap, this is easy. And then we have two more after her. So, yeah. I think we can fulfill his wish in this one. Are you Felicity McDuff? I think Felicity McDuff is a child. Oh no, she doesn't look like a child. Well, let's go greet her and uh, drink from her too. Where? What? I can't click on him. <laughs> there we go. And let's drink from her. Dang, we're almost done. So we just need to drink from one more person. I'm going to see if there is anybody around so I can fulfill his wish. That would be so easy. <gasps> is this a person that I, that I haven't drank from? No, I know you, Vicky. All right, well, whatever. Gabby is hungry. Let's have her eat some tomato and a lettuce. And I'm also going to have her deliver the objects. That's why she has so many gems because I cut all of them and then I had to put some more back. So, <laughs> she's going to deliver them, and you know that how I was telling you that I was having her fulfill all these different opportunities? Well, once you're done with all of them, and I don't know how many there are, but you can actually get a Philosopher's Stone, like, they, they give it to you for free. You don't have to get it from the Lifetime Happiness rewards, you know, how it's all the way down here for like 40,000 freaking lifetime reward points. It's crazy. Where is it? Right here. It says, creating gold from ordinary objects isn't for the casual alchemy hobbyist. This is the big league. Grant yourself power never before imagined, but remember with great power comes great responsibility. So that should be interesting how that happens. Um, I don't know what to do. I read about it and I'm kind of nervous and I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but can you hurry up and come over here and then make her think about you and do a friendly introduction? Uh, hurry, 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 Cal. Let's go. Are you over here? There seems to be an invisible... Oh my god. They, like, haven't even met. Yes. We being romantic. Drink from her. And look at this. You are so lucky, Ling Sao Hing. You are our last victim. We're going to drink from you and our lifetime wish shall be fulfilled. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Yay! <gasps> Oh, la la la, song. That is so cool. So he has drank from 20 different sims and turned 6 out of 5 of them. I'm pretty sure he's turned another one too. I don't even know. So who are all these people? Oh, is that a flask of bees? Did I drop that? I think I lost the an elixir a long time ago and I had no idea where it went. That's probably where it went. So who is this guy? I don't know. Is he going to smack us? I'm kind of nervous. So we're good friends apparently because I made her think about him, but whatever. <laughs> and Gabby, once she's done in the Vault of Antiquity, I think we should get a Philosopher's Stone. So that's pretty awesome. Cal, how about you come over here and research the supernatural because it sounds like fun. And then to our archives. And Jake and Lana, are you going out on a date? <laughs> I totally forgot. All right, so uh, did they have fun at least, maybe? Seems to be an invisible magnet, la la la. I don't really know, I don't remember. So Gabby, um, hmm, I guess I'll just fast forward it maybe? 
actually, since I wanted them to do this, I'm going to have them go over and do this now. I'm going to have them have some fun in the little wagon. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So we're going to go over here with Jake Heron, our husband, our hubby, and they're going to woohoo in the awesome little, what is this called? A caravan. Oh, I guess we can't do it right now. Witches tell a legend of a caustic elixir that is so powerful it can eat through anything. Cal Heron might be able to produce one, but should he focus on the ingredients or the mixing process? Probably the right ingredients. I don't really know. Try romancing some more. What? Things are off to a good start. Okay, where should Cal Heron place his focus? Mix it right. Right ingredients. Why wouldn't we? What can we not do? some more and try again try romancing some more and try again okay probably because we're not both over here yet um it worked cal heron was able to recreate the unstoppable dissolving elixir what unfortunately immediately eats its way through the oh i was like what he made a new elixir so we're going to woohoo in this cool little caravan with lana hopefully it works i don't know i hope it like shakes or something it's probably not going to because i think this is a rabbit hole and rabbit holes don't really shake they just get little hearts on top so as a souvenir cal heron keeps a book on the history of the term witch <laughs> so who can proudly say they achieved alchemic mastery your sim that's who your sim's reputation will precede them among the tightly knit alchemy circles so did we get the philosopher's stone in here no we did not i'm assuming it's in our family inventory so i'm going to have them go out on a date again apparently just so i can get them to woohoo in the caravan but whatever so, uh, I read that one, I think. Cal Heron has successfully selected the first batch of ingredients. Good, good. He steps into the vault and is over- Oh, you hear that music? That is so cute. We missed you at the party. Oh, that's fine. So, Gabby needs to take a shower because she freaking stinks. And then she will go to bed. Where there's- Oh, yeah, there were hearts. Okay, that's cute. What happened? <gasps> oh my god, what happened? What the hell happened? Why are you burnt? I don't remember. What is going on? Well, that was really strange. <laughs> I guess they had fun. I don't really know. So let's just go get drinks or something again. That should be interesting when she's burnt as hell. And Cal, where are you? You're at the Vault of Antiquity. So how about you go on home and sleep? You poor thing. You poor vampire. And I'm going to go put all the walls down. And I'm going to put the Philosopher's Stone out. Because I totally want to see what it looks like. And I don't know. Um, <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. By the way, I noticed that that noise goes on whenever I go up or down a floor. It's insane. Look at all these freaking paintings. Why do we have so many? Can we put one somewhere? Let's put one right there. Oh, that's cool. What is it called? I don't know. Okay, I have no idea. So let's get this Philosopher's Stone, put it outside, because I read that something bad can happen if you use this, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so I'm just going to place it, I guess right there. And then we're going to sell all these other paintings. I'm not sure why we have so many paintings. Unless Cal stole them, but usually it gives you notification when something's stole. So let's see, we can bind a ghost, and then we can transmute gold. And it says an object must be placed onto the Philosopher's Stone to transmute into gold. And I also read that if you don't do it correctly, if you don't transmute something into gold, you can die. So they said to have a death flower in your inventory. So I don't know if this is going to work or not, but apparently you can just turn anything into gold. So let's have her do that before she leaves. And I think I might want to put out a light here so you can see what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so let's get an outdoor light. How about this one? I don't know. Can I put it anywhere? Why can't they put it anywhere? All right, let's put it here. How come it's not working? Oh, wow, that's like the world's worst light. What? I think I'll just delete it once I'm done with it. That looks good. <laughs> Huge freaking like street light looking thing. All right, come on, Gabby. I wanna see how this works. So let's go. She is, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I've never used this, I just read about it. So if it works, it should turn into a stack of gold or she might die. Oh, she didn't die, okay, thank God. Maybe she's too tired. Well, I'm kind of nervous to do this again, but let's just try it anyway. 
So let's transmute this into gold one more time, and I'm going to put it on speed four since we've already seen the animation. Why can't we turn it into gold? Okay, let's see. What can can we turn this into gold? <laughs> this is huge. Let's transmute into gold. What did it say? Co oh, never mind. I thought it was like capitalized or something. That was so strange. Yes, here we go. We've successfully turned it into gold, and it's worth three one hundred and three simoleons. So that wasn't too bad. Um, oh yeah, by the way, Gabby learned the haunting curse. I forgot to tell you. At the end of the last episode, her and Bianca were doing spellcasting duel, and I'm trying to find somebody to freaking do it on. I can't see anybody. Uh, what the hell? Okay, Jake and Lana, you guys can come home so I can have somebody to do this on. And Gabby, or you know what? Let's just have, uh, let's just invite somebody over. I feel like she doesn't know anybody. Okay, never mind. I don't want to do it to Bianca. I think a haunting curse, um, there are dire consequences, so I assume the worst that can happen is that Gabby dies or something. It sounds terrible, but they, like, sick a ghost on, <laughs> on another sim, and they haunt them for a while, so let's, I want to see what that's like. And we don't have any freaking invigorating elixirs. We only have one. Darn it. Okay, well, we have a spotlight mushroom, so let's mix a, a potent invigorating elixir. And then once somebody gets home, okay, Jake's home, we're going to cast a haunting curse on him. So hopefully Gabby can hurry the hell up and make this <laughs> elixir. Let's see. Potent invigorating. I don't know where it is. Potent invigorating. No. Oh, here we go. She's going to do that, and then Jake is still on a date with Lana. Believe it or not, that's crazy. They're just having so much fun. Is she- did she create it? Oh yeah, she did. So let's just drink this elixir. Poor Gabby's about to like pass out, pass the hell out. And uh, I'm going to have her do the haunting curse after because I don't want- I don't want her to fail because she's tired. I don't know if that can happen. But let's just do the haunting curse now. Hopefully nobody dies. I'm just assuming that it's going to work. <laughs> so let's please have this work and you can stop dancing. You can go over here and use the bathroom and then you can sleep and Gabby are you doing it? Suddenly Gabby Gallo feels like running a marathon. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. She created two potent elixirs. And you know what, Lana? She's about to level up her magic, so I think what I might do is just have her go and bloom some plants. Uh, no, not bloom plants. I don't want her to, to ruin them because she can. So let's go. Can we... Is anything broken? Can we fairy upgrade something? Oh, what we can do is play tricks on people. So let's set a fairy trap and also get the mail. And then we can probably set a fairy trap in here and set a fairy trap in here. No? Okay. Well, that looks... That's fine. I just don't want to miss this little haunting thing. So, Gabby. What is going on? Please don't die. Nobody die. Oh, looks like it was successful. Oh, cool! So there's a ghost here haunting him, and it says, Scared. Scaredy cats are scared of pretty much everything, but they really show it when their life flashes before their eyes. And he feels haunted. Jake looks like he just saw a ghost. Who are you going to call? That's funny. Oh, is he going to be nice to him? Let's be friendly to him. Agonize for becoming a werewolf. Complain about werewolf curse. Don't be rude. <laughs> oh, Jake has to go to work. You know, I should probably give him this last invigorating elixir, because he lost the last game. He just sucks at playing games, but I think it's because his his uh athletic skill wasn't high enough so it's pretty high now it's at level nine i had him work out for a while and the little baby's outside so lana are you done what are you doing didn't i freaking tell you to <laughs> fairy trap something you silly billy all right let's go oh she has to go to the bathroom all right come on come on what is taking you so long we're going to fairy trap the mailbox, which I have never seen, and you are so lame. Well, you can drink this elixir. All right. Fairy trap the mailbox, and we'll get the mail. Actually, I think I've seen this before once, maybe. And then, um, can't fairy trap that yet. Okay. My dog just jumped off the bed. It sounded like she hurt herself, but I don't think she did. <laughs> and now she's walking behind me, if you can hear that. I have plastic under my chair, so it doesn't ruin the carpet. So, that's her nails clicking against it oh so she did it all right and her magic is pretty high almost so i think i'm going to have her do an aura of soothing and then maybe we can do some other objects set a fairy trap on here i love the aura of soothing because it's blue i don't know i really like the color blue for some reason 
It could be my favorite color. I don't even know. Oh, look, she did it. She did it. She's now, she leveled it up. And are they going to show me a little notification? They're not going to show me a little notification. Maybe she didn't level it up then. Did she? Let's see. I'm going to fast forward it until I see. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, here we go. Sharing a house is one thing. Sharing a toothbrush is another. But sharing a llama? Ew. Lana can now fairy trap a llama and derail those pesky sims who use a device not meant for public transportation. So how convenient of us to have a llama. <laughs> and I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll have Gabby go somewhere. Or, yeah, let's have Gabby go somewhere. Poor Gabby. When we're done, though, of course. And Cal is just having so much fun. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. And we just lost a friend. Who is the friend that we lost? I have no idea. Maybe this chickadee. Bailey Swain. Oh, wow. Anna Love is just not in a good mood. So Gabby will travel via llama to somewhere awesome. I don't know where. Let's see this animation. This is like the best animation. Um... We'll go to the alchemy store. That was my timer. I'm done. I have to. I have to go in a second, but let's see where she's going to head off to. She ended up going all the way to the beach. That's crazy. Let's shove beach. Nice. Freaking Lana. What a biatch. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's not a biatch. So... In the next episode, I think I want to work on my little plan for Cal. I have a couple things I need to get still. And then Gabby, you can come on home. So sorry. And Gabby, I think we will adopt a child. Oh, but first, let's age up little Vincent. I forgot his name already. I haven't talked to him in so long. <laughs> Poor little Vincent. Because he definitely needs to have a birthday party. We hit, like He's been a kid for so long. So let's go and do that right now. And then I'll change his clothes and... Um, I'll purchase him a bed. So let's, okay, Vincent Heron. Okay, I was right. That was totally his name. Good. Vincent Heron is having a birthday party. Come on, come on. Bone Hill to put the kid down, you weirdo. And Cal got, I spelled slowly wrong. That gets me every time. He got a lot of money in royalties. Did he finish his book? I don't really know. So what is that kid doing? I have no idea. Oh no, we're going to continue writing. The leaving a mark book. Is that... Oh, God, that guy just... Ew, what is... What is that? <laughs> Did you see the clouds? Oh, look. His uncle and his dad celebrating his birthday. How cute is this? How freaking adorable is this? Look at Bone Hilda. Looking like a freak. Aww. Aww, they're having so much fun. Oops. I forgot I was in tab mode. Wow. Alright, so kid, age up, little, little bug, little Vincent bug, my little, Latte's breathing funny if you can hear her, sorry. <laughs> my little werewolf buddy, oh god, Bonehilda, what are you doing, you weirdo? Okay, age up, come on, come on, hanging forever. What are you doing? Walk, here we go. <gasps> what does he look like? Oh, what are you wearing? <laughs> With crawling and cribs behind, Vincent has finally gotten on his own two feet. And due to your excellent, excellent parenting skills, I know, because I'm awesome. He's a genius, absent-minded, and I forgot what I wanted him to be, of course. I always forget. Let's have him be, um, let's have him love the outdoors. That sounds good. And I, <laughs> I'm going to change his clothes, that's for sure. And he's cross-eyed. That's so cute when Sims get cross-eyed when they age up. Oh my gosh. Is this his everyday... That reminds me of Wednesday from Adam's Fa I don't know why Wednesday, because the kid, the other one, doesn't even wear a suit or anything like she does. He wears, like, a black and white striped shirt. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time, I'm going to work on Cal's little fairy baby situation. It's not too big of a deal. I have a little plan that I have that I want to do. <laughs> So yeah, have a great day. Let me know if there's anything else you would like me to do. I'm probably going to adopt a kid for babies. I mean for Gabby since you guys want me to so bad and I don't want her to cheat on Bianca because she's just not like that. I don't know. I don't I, I know Gabby. All right. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So yeah. Bye guys.